one thing you'll hear me say if you spend any amount of time with me is this. Good is the enemy of great. This is one of those principles and thoughts and concepts that are timeless. If you have this at the top of your mind, great. Keep it there no matter how much you succeed. Remember it and continue to push for greatness. By the way, anyone know who said that without Googling it? Type it in the chat log below. Anyways, good is the enemy of great is much more than just a great quote. It's a habit, it's a way of life, it's something the top 1% commit to and revisit constantly. Now Joshua Four, a science journalist, talked about this from a slightly different angle in his 99 U talk. His talk was titled, Step Outside Your Comfort Zone and Study Yourself, The OK Plateau. Josh is a young science journalist with some great insight that I've applied to my career and continue to apply. I love his thought about the OK Plateau because it complements the good is the enemy of great principle. The nice thing about a science journalist tackling this topic is he comes with, wouldn't you know it, science, facts, and figures to back up his thoughts. When you have 15 minutes and you're not okay with being okay or just good, watch the entire video, it's pretty good. We will pick it up at the 10 minute mark when he starts talking about experts or top producers and how they tend to operate outside their comfort zone and study themselves daily. He starts talking about this principle by applying it to a basic task, typing. Take a look. Turns out, we can actually all improve our typing speed. It's not even that hard to do. Psychologists found that one of the best ways to do that is to try typing 10 to 20% faster than you're comfortable with. Watch yourself fail. Yeah, it's really awkward. I've tried it. You like write the most illiterate emails ever. Uh, but eventually, what happens is you start to notice. What are the things that, like, why is this slowing me down? Consciously, unconsciously, you begin to recognize what's causing you physical hiccups, uh, cognitive hiccups, perceptual hiccups, if you're trying to copy something that you, you know, saw on the screen, and you begin to get better. They also studied figure skaters and the principle applied there as well. The best skaters in the world spent more of their time practicing jumps they couldn't land versus the average figure skaters spent their time landing and practicing jumps in their arsenal that they could land. The same was true with musicians. Also in the study was a commentary on the best chess players in the world. Interesting enough, the best chess players in the world weren't the ones with the most hours spent playing chess. The best players were the ones with the most hours studying other top 1% chess players. Studying and watching their every move and learning their strategies. Watching and learning from the best of the best. Joshua states something I completely agree with and try to do on the daily, stating experts crave and thrive on immediate and constant feedback. Totally agree, and this comes full circle because the best are constantly studying themselves and those around them that succeed at a high level. Studying their daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly successes, and more importantly, their failures. That, in my opinion, will provide you and your business partners the absolute best feedback moving forward. Another interesting point made on the 99 U talk was this. Experts treat what they do like a science. Take a look. Last principle is experts treat what they do like a science. They collect data, they analyze data, they create theories about what works and what doesn't work, and they test them. This is something that corporations do, right? This is something that governments, in theory, do. We, as creative professionals, can also engage in, you know, best practices, discovering what our best practices are. I love this talk and I learned a lot from it. It also reaffirmed a lot for me. I hope you guys get the same out of it. It starts out a little slow. Stay with it or just start at minute nine. Remember, good is the enemy of great and don't accept the okay plateau. Be willing and okay with looking at both your successes and failures. I hope you share this with your teams and coworkers and friends. We'll see you guys next week.